Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. I am filming this on a Friday. I don't know when this video is going to get posted, but anyways, act like today's Friday if it isn't. <laughs> um, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Jessica Christine and welcome. This is a long overdue video. It's going to be a product empties video. So basically, what is this? My favorite products that I've used up over the past few months, in this case, about six to eight months. It's been a long time since I've done one of these videos. So I wanna make sure that I go through this very quickly because I have a lot of products here, but I've used these products so many times that I know for a fact these products are amazing. And you'll see by the quantity of products that have gone through of the same thing, you're gonna be like, wow, this girl's like ride or die for these products. So stay tuned and let's just jump right into it. So I kind of have these in sections. Um, I'm gonna start with like shampoo and shower scene products and kind of move on from there because I have different categories of products. So the first product I have to show you guys is actually four of these. <laughs> these are absolutely amazing. It is the Giovanni Tangerine and Papaya Butter Ultra Volume Shampoo. And I used this for so, so long. But um, I actually just finished my last bottle. Sorry, the phone's ringing. We still have a house phone here. I know, insane. Oh wait, we don't just have one. We have five house phones. Normal, right? So basically what I love about this shampoo or what I did love about this shampoo was I'm someone who struggles with very oily roots and I have very dry hair everywhere else. So this shampoo, because shampoo focuses on your scalp, is meant for people with oily roots like me who want an ultra volume shampoo. It is sulfate free, paraben free, it's vegan. I loved this. This was the closest vegan shampoo I could get to a natural shampoo that actually worked until I recently discovered a shampoo that I'm using now um, by the brand Modern Nature, which has just blown this shampoo out of the water, honestly, and I can honestly finally say that after the amount of years that I've been using this. Um, and yeah, maybe I'll do a video on my favorite shampoo. Leave me in the comments if you want a video of my new favorite hair care products, and I'll make sure to do that video for you guys. The next product I went through was this Pacifica Pineapple Curls Curl Defining Conditioner. I love Pacifica's packaging. In the recent years, the past two years, they've really stepped up their packaging compared to themselves before and they've been growing so much. I truthfully believe it's because they are a cruelty-free and vegan company and their products are absolutely amazing. Was it one of my favorites? Probably not because, I mean, I don't know, it didn't do like wonders for my hair or anything, but it smelt really good and that was the main reason for me to purchase it. Um, but then again, guys, like ever since then, I've really upped my hair game big time when it comes to volume, when it comes to shine, length, everything, growth. If you want to see my new shampoo and conditioner, I will do that in a separate video. I kind of just want to go through the empties. I don't want to stray away from this topic. And the next product I used up was this Bath & Body Works Aromatherapy Stress Relief Eucalyptus and Spearmint Body Wash. Um, I used this forever. These things last so long, guys. They last months and months and months. And they are affordable for sure. Um, I really liked this. I liked how clean it made me feel in the morning. I love something with mint in the morning. There's just something about it that just wakes you up. Um, I usually try to do like a peppermint essential oil when I wake up as well. Um, it really helps open your pores and just, you know, make you feel so clean. It's like a facial for your entire body, this thing. Um, this, however, is actually not cruelty free because Bath & Body Works is not a cruelty free company. Um, so for that reason, I will not be repurchasing. It was just something that I had already had that I used up. The next um, product I used up, obviously I don't have the soap bar because I used it up, um, but I kept the packaging of the soap 
because I was so obsessed with this soap, it wasn't even funny. So this is a cute like small business brand. It's by the brand Chunk. Um, it's called I Love You A Whole Brunch. Like brunch, get it? Like going to brunch. I love you a whole brunch. I thought that was super cute. It's a seven ounce bar and you know, there's not too many ingredients in here. Everything is like very natural, coconut, orange, grapefruit, ginger, things like that. And I just love supporting these little brands. And yeah, you can get them online. I would highly recommend guys. There's so many different uh, names of soap and like smells. I literally am so obsessed with the scent. I have to repurchase another one. Like I'm keeping this aside because I have to remember to repurchase it. I'm adding it to my list. The next thing I used up is this Brandless Foaming Hand Soap. Now for all of you guys that don't know, I have done a Brandless unboxing video on my channel before. The company Brandless, everything is like $3 or under. It's very cheap, very affordable. They are cruelty-free company. A lot of their products are vegan and it's just amazing. They focus on like organic, all natural products and that's what I love about them. They're just an overall great company. So I decided to purchase a couple of their foaming soaps, which one is actually almost done in my bathroom right now. But guys, these are so solid for three dollars, and you know it's it's this one's in soothing lavender. They have eucalyptus and lavender is the full name. They have all these different ones, uh, all these different scents, and each month Brandless like adds new stuff to their website. It's just amazing. I'm a huge fan of this brand, so I just want to keep supporting them in any way I can. For instance, I got this on Brandless, so. Uh, not this actual thing, but I got um, this box. So it's just a tissue box by Brandless. Uh, it's super simple, but I love how minimal it is and square, and it fits into my little tissue box holder that I got, and yeah, I just love it. It's super cute, and I like supporting Brandless whatever way I can. Just simple things like this tissues who cares what brand it is half the brands aren't cruelty free brands anyways but brandless is so it's just little changes like that you can do to really make a difference the next product i went through is happy happy joy joy conditioner by lush um this conditioner was pretty good um it smells very very natural uh there's not a lot of ingredients in this as well the ones that are here um they're very natural, like almond milk and uh, jojoba oil, grapefruit, orange flower. Um, it is vegan, which I loved about it. I love Lush. That's one of the main things that I love about Lush. They are cruelty free and a lot of their products are vegan and they're labeled vegan, which is huge when you walk into the store. So you don't have to go through you know, checking online, you just walk in the store, you look for the V and you know it means vegan. This was a good conditioner. I can't say it was my favorite conditioner. I never really found a conditioner I fell in love with until I found the one that I'm currently using, which is unbelievable. That is it for my shower and bath products. The next thing I'll go into, I guess, is um, my toothpaste, my ride or die toothpaste. This has been my ride or die toothpaste for the past, I want to say, two to three years now, probably three years. And I go through them like crazy. One in the bathroom is actually almost done right now, too. Um, so I used up four. <coughs> oh my god. So I used up four in the past like six to eight months. This Dr. Bronner's Peppermint All in One Toothpaste is literally the best toothpaste I have ever used that is cruelty free and vegan ever. It cleans my teeth so white and obviously um, I'm not gonna like zoom in on my teeth but you know I have a pretty white smile for someone who doesn't or has never done any like whitening or anything like that. My teeth are pretty white and I swear it is because of this toothpaste. And it's made of like natural ingredients. There's no harmful chemicals in there. There's nothing that's actually going to damage the enamel on your teeth or anything like that. Um, I love that it's peppermint because personally I 
don't and I can't do anything that is spearmint. For some reason, spearmint makes me like nauseous and sick. I don't know. Leave in the comments if that happens to you. Yeah, guys, this is such a simple switch. If you're not ready to go fully vegan or anything like that, or you're not even thinking about it and just want to make a quick change onto like the cruelty free product side, this is such an easy way to do it. It's toothpaste. You're not losing anything. If anything, you are gaining by the whiteness of it and also a lot of the traditional brands have a lot of horrible things for your teeth in it, believe it or not. <laughs> So the next products I wanted to show you are, you've seen this in a lot of my product empty videos, um, my ride or die because I literally guys still to this day cannot live without this product and I feel like they are discontinuing it very um, quickly from everywhere and it's so hard to find now. It is the Yes To Carrots Fragrance Free daily cream facial cleanser and it is my ride or die facial cleanser I use it to remove my makeup I use it to wash my face in the mornings at night I use this for all types of face purposes this is what I use in my face and I swear this is why I have such clean skin it has aloe vera it has carrot seed oil in it it has all good natural ingredients in it Yes2 is a cruelty free brand. Most of their products are vegan. I only use fragrance free skincare products anyways because fragrances are not good for the skin period. So it's important to really focus on your skincare rather than your makeup products. Skincare is number one for me and then makeup products after that. If your skin doesn't look good then your makeup's not gonna look good, right? So they used to sell this at Target and Walgreens. They actually stopped selling it at both of those places. The line is slowly discontinuing it. And the only place that I've been able to find it recently is on Jet.com. I've literally been ordering like six at a time from that website in case they like completely run out. So I'm so sad. Yes to please bring this back to Target and all of your stores, your website, everything. Please, I am begging you. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I run out of this. Next thing I wanted to show you guys is my deodorant, my ride or die deodorant. I've been using the same deodorant for three years now. It's La Vanilla, the healthy deodorant, and Sport Lux uh, in vanilla. And it is absolutely amazing. It smells so good, guys. It doesn't leave a white stain on your clothing, which I know is huge with a lot of people. And also, it stays on. It's not one of those cruelty-free and vegan deodorants that just don't last. Personally, this is the only vegan deodorant I've ever found to stay and last all day. Um, I've used a bunch of different deodorants and none of them work for me or they turn and they smell like a weird scent after a while. This does not do this. This is the best deodorant ever, hands down. Like I, I feel no need to even try another deodorant, honestly, because that's how good this works. You can purchase this at Sephora. Next set of products I wanted to go through is also from the brand Brandless. So this is a cruelty free and vegan night cream and I went through three of these. This was actually a pretty good night cream, I'm not gonna lie. If you don't have a large budget for night creams, then I would definitely recommend the Brandless night cream. Believe it or not, you wouldn't think so. Um, but it is like really good. It's wicked moisturizing. It took care of my dry skin during the winter. Um, I have transitioned back into my Derma E. Um, hydrating night cream because I think that it's definitely there's a reason why it's more expensive um, it's definitely more hydrating and just uh, better overall but this is not a bad product for the price it's literally three dollars you can't beat that and it lasts for a good amount of time it's a 1.7 ounce but you'd be surprised how long this can last you the next products I wanted to show you are my facial sprays and my setting sprays. So I've gone through three. Um, the first one I went through is from Whole Foods. It is the Heritage Store 
rose petals rose water spray so you can use it as an aromatherapy mist a body splash um, it's from European roses so you can get this at any Whole Foods there is not a lot of ingredients in it at all it's cruelty free it's vegan I am obsessed with rose water sprays I I don't go a day without using a rose water spray on my face I swear it also cleans my skin as well when it comes to me not dealing with pimples I very 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 rarely get pimples whenever I do it's always around my period yeah rose water helps a lot with that and it's just so so good for your skin there's so the next uh, setting spray that I went through is the urban decay all-nighter makeup setting spray um, and it's funny because this is the old packaging this is the new packaging it is the same um, exact product they just changed the packaging and that's how long it's been since I've done a product empties video I absolutely I'm obsessed with this product. I haven't found a better setting spray than the Urban Decay All Nighter. Um, I This one is cruelty free and vegan. Urban Decay is a cruelty free brand, but not all of their products are vegan. I believe that they list their vegan products on their website though, so that's good. I absolutely love it. Guys, it keeps my makeup on my face all day. I literally I do my makeup I set my makeup right after and I don't even have to touch it for hours after and I'm talking like six to seven hours after I do my makeup that's how long this lasts I absolutely swear by the setting spray especially when it's really hot outside it keeps your face from dripping like all your makeup from dripping off your face it's amazing I love it <laughs> okay so now we're getting into makeup products so my ride or die makeup products are basically in this video um, if they're not it's because I've recently discovered them and I'm still using them but um, the first thing I wanted to show you guys is the bare minerals complexion rescue tinted hydrating gel cream now don't be fooled by the name because at first I wasn't sure like what that meant I wasn't sure what it was um, but it's literally a tinted moisturizer. That's what it is. I was someone who was absolutely obsessed with the La Mercier tinted moisturizer. I thought there was nothing better in the entire world and then I went vegan. And La Mercier is not cruelty free, meaning their entire brand tests on animals. So I wanted to find a tinted moisturizer that was really close to that, like really, really close to that. And I've tried so many guys. Moment of silence for the amount of money that I've wasted on some of these products. Okay, we can move on. Alright, so this product literally, guys, has changed my life. It's the only tinted moisturizer that's cruelty free and vegan that I've found to work just as well. Every day of my life and all of my recent perfume videos and all my recent videos in general, I've been, used, I've been wearing that on my face. So I haven't actually been wearing foundation until today. Um, the only reason I did was honestly because I just wanted to I haven't in like three months and I saw you know what it was last night I was on Instagram I saw some girl with like this glammed out face and I was just like you know what that's gonna be me tomorrow I'm glamming up tomorrow and I don't care it's Friday all right so moving on <laughs> the next product I wanted to show you guys was my wow I just completely blinked on what this even was <laughs> Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. Guys, I've gone through so many of these. Obviously, I even had the travel size when I went on vacation. Um, the one that I have is also almost done. I already have another backup. I always have these on backup because I couldn't live a day without these products. <laughs> this tinted moisturizer, this I could not live a day without. So basically, this is cruelty free and vegan. I love Too Faced. They're one of my favorite cruelty-free brands out there. Um, this primer does wonders to my skin. Wonders. It, it keeps my makeup on all day, but most importantly, it hydrates my skin. I have extremely, extremely dry skin in the winter especially, and also in the summer. It's just something that I've always struggled with, but between my night cream and between this primer, I don't 
have to worry about like severe dry skin on my face anymore so that's super exciting highly highly recommend the Too Faced Hangover RX primer the next product I wanted to talk about is the Too Faced better than sex mascara now this mascara is my ride or die mascara it has been for the past three years um, I even have the travel size for when I go on vacation I could not live without this mascara I think if there was one makeup product that I if I had to choose one out of any makeup product in the entire world that I can only wear for the rest of my life it would be mascara and it would be this product that is how much I love the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. As everyone says, is it better than sex? I'll leave that up to you. You guys need this product. If you don't have it already, you guys need this mascara. Need it. Volumizing, lengthening, everything. If I can like somehow zoom in, I don't know if you guys can see. Um, I'll go to the side. Yeah, this is like literally my ride or die mascara. Granted, I have very, very, very long lashes in general, but this mascara makes them that much longer, that much fuller. It's just amazing. Next, I have gone through a couple of mascaras. Now, this mascara um, was my ride or die mascara. It was the NARS um, Creamy Concealer in Custard. Ah, oh, rest in peace NARS. And why do I say that? I say that because they used to be a cruelty free brand and now they are no longer cruelty free. They were bought out. So super sad. I will never be repurchasing from NARS ever again until they decide to get their shit together. <laughs> I'm never using this concealer again. <laughs> this concealer, however, is the Urban Decay Naked Skin concealer in the shade light warm this is the concealer that I've been using non-stop I absolutely love it it's what I'm wearing on my face today and it just gives like such a smooth appearance to your face it's great and I don't really feel the need to wear any other concealer I have been like trying other concealers because I'm always in the market for a new one, a new good one, but I'm not in a rush to find a new one. You know what I mean? I'm sure a lot of you get what I'm saying. Next is eyeliner products. So <clears throat> I always, actually this is what I have in my eyes right now. It is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper Black. So it's a very, very pointy, can you see it here? Sorry. I'm in my viewfinder see if you can see yep okay obviously it has a very very sharp point that is so important people are like how can you get your eyeliner so pointy at the end and it all has to do with the eyeliner you use and the type of brush that it has on it on the top of my eyelid I only ever use a liquid eyeliner this one is a liquid eyeliner and it's waterproof so I can literally go swimming in the pool guys or in the ocean this stays on my eyes all day it's like I never went swimming it's incredible I swear by this eyeliner I swear by it especially in the summer I hate eyeliners that look wet on the eyelids I like something like this where it looks nice and dry and smooth and yeah this is my ride or die eyeliner um, this eyeliner is sex kitten by Tarte and I'm wearing it on my bottom lash line today um, so that's the one that I'm wearing here and it stays for so long guys that's what I love about this is it stays it's not a glitter black it is a matte black for your bottom lash line if you do wear it down there like I do sometimes I absolutely love 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 Tarte is a cruelty free brand this product is vegan they label all of their vegan products in Macy's and online as well which I love so uh, yeah definitely check out the sex kit and eyeliner by Tarte for your bottom lash line it's amazing next type of products I wanted to go through are my lip products so first and foremost I have a chapstick it is the Sun Bum coconut 30 SPF with aloe and vitamin E this is my ride or die uh, chapstick. I absolutely love it. Sunbum is a cruelty free brand. Um, I believe all of their products are vegan, if not all. 
the majority of them are. I don't remember off the top of my head. I get this at Target, you can get it at Whole Foods, you can get it anywhere, basically. So I'll always apply that and then I go in with uh, one of my recently, for the past like eight months now, I've been using only like ColourPop lippy sticks. And this one is in the shade Tootsie, uh, like the Tootsie Roll candies. So it's a similar color, it's like a brown color. I don't know if you can see that yeah and it's just so pretty I have to get more of this for sure um, it was one of my favorite colors one of my everyday colors from them ColourPop is a cruelty free brand a lot of their products are vegan I highly recommend because most of their products are five or six dollars each and it's just incredible they are my favorite lipstick brand ever they're obviously more than a lipstick brand but they sell everything um, I use their face powder I use their blush um, I use their brushes I use their eyeshadow palettes um, I have a million literally a million of their <laughs> lipsticks it's kind of sad and sickening in a way but I do I love them and um, the one I'm wearing today on my lips is also from ColourPop it's also a lippy sticks the shade gold digger which I get the most compliments on every day when I wear this lipstick it's my everyday my everyday lipstick I just can't get enough of it it's like that perfect like strawberry color that isn't red but it isn't pink it's just perfect okay. The next product I want to go through is, I'm honestly surprised that I haven't gone through more of these because I haven't used any other products since I started using this. So that just shows how long lasting this product is. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the shade Soft Brown. So what it is, is you have the brow definer, it's like a twisty top like that and it'll come up on here. And then on this end you have the uh, brush. I absolutely am ride or die for this brow product. I don't use anything else on my brows. I used to use a brow gel, but I don't use a brow gel anymore. I don't need to. Um, I find that this just, when I put it on and then I brush it up and down again, it just stays in place all day. I never have to like touch my eyebrows or fix them or anything. They just like stay. I also just got my eyebrows done, so I might be a little biased. <laughs> In general, I really don't have to ever even touch up my brows. This, I never touch up. I do it once a day and I leave it and that's it. The next never... product I went through, and I say that I went through this because it's broken and because I only use one side of this palette, to be completely honest with you. So this is the uh, Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. So this is in the shade Dolce de Leche. Wild is a cruelty-free brand. Most of their products are vegan. Um, this product I believe is vegan. I have to double check on it though. I'm not sure. I have another one um, lined up. I'm not sure though if it is. I, I actually really have to check that. <laughs> but yeah, huge fan. This is my favorite contour um, out there. I love the color of it. I have it on my face today. I also have bronzer over it. Um, but I use this daily. I use this every single day. I don't use this side at all, just the dark brown. It's the perfect shade for my skin tone for contouring and I'm a huge fan of Dolce De Leche so check it out if you haven't already. The next product I want to show you guys is by Becca. Becca is a cruelty free and um, most of their products are vegan. Um, I, I really, really, really love this brand. So I got the First Light Priming Filter Instant Complexion Refresh. This is the purple one. So it's a pump and it literally pumps out purple. So this is supposed to be good for making your face extremely shiny like super shiny more so than their original formula um i really honestly did love this product so much it just gives such a natural looking glow to your skin i wore it in my past past videos um i haven't worn it recently because this is super it's honestly very expensive guys it is a luxury product it's not something that you absolutely need in your makeup routine it's just something that um, I bought to try out one time and I did absolutely love it though in the summer I would only wear this product in the summer 
um, because it gives you such a natural looking glow in the sun. It's like the fact that it's purple, there's like particles in this, and this is vegan as well. Um, there's particles in this that just make you glow like a crystal. Like, I'm obsessed with crystals. Like, I feel like I looked like a crystal. I, that might be a little, like, over the top and exaggerated, but it it made my skin glow like no other, and I really liked this product. I actually am going to put it to the side because I do want to repurchase it. And then two random, very, very, very random products. Um, I've gone through a ton of candles, um, and I don't really want to, like, get into them in this video because it's just going to be too long, but one little one that I was obsessed with that I finished, um, I believe I got it at uh, Old Navy, I'm not even going to lie. It is Sweet Sandalwood Soy Candle. Um, it's by Santal Du Bougie Perfume. Um, not really sure how you say that, but yeah, this candle smells absolutely incredible. But I, I've yet to actually find a candle that smells this good. I'm not even going to lie to you. I wish I had it in like a huge size. So. And then I went through this whole thing of 50 uh, natural unbleached tea bags by the People's Green Tea. It is one of my favorite green tea brands of all time. I get it from Whole Foods. You can also get it from Wegmans and I'm sure a few other places as well. It's just so pure. If you love green tea like I do, you would love this green tea brand. It's so earthy and good. The last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about today is my life-changing product, which is this Reliva CBD tincture, 250 milligrams, 0% uh, THC, obviously. So, guys, CBD oil has changed my life absolutely changed my life. I'm not going to go into full detail in this video because I want to do a whole separate video about it, but I cannot stress enough how important this has become in my life. This product right here is absolutely incredible. It has sincerely, like an insane amount, decreased my anxiety and depression, like in an insane way, especially my anxiety when it comes to being stressed out and overthinking and things like that about like what I'm going to do, like what I'm doing in my life and decisions that I have to make. CBD is so helpful with that. I can't stress it enough. It is absolutely incredible. And I just realized my fan was on. I apologize if you were hearing the fan that whole time. Um, CBD has come become such a huge priority in my life and a healer in my life and yeah that's all I'm gonna say about it in this video um, it has really truthfully truthfully like transformed my life and my anxiety I do not experience the anxiety I've experienced my whole life with this so um, that's just look into it and um, read about it. That brand is a great one. There's so many brands coming out right now. Oh my god, CBD is so popular with every single age group because the benefits are just incredible. Um, the health benefits. So definitely check CBD out if you haven't already. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. As always, I love you guys so much. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video if you got value from it. Leave in the comments future videos that you would like to see and follow me on Instagram at JessChristineX3 where I post most of my content and I'm on most of the time. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.